Marlene Nyker is someone who's programmed her mind for success and she shares her techniques as a mentor and life coach. Earning a second princess title in the 2016 Mrs. South Africa contest is just one of her many achievements and she now plays a key role in the pageant. Juggling her many commitments is quite a balancing act and Karusha went to find out how she manages it. Mrs. South Africa, second princess is... Marlene Nyka! Born in Durban and now married and living in Jersey, Marlene holds an honours degree in psychology as well as a postgrad business qualification. During the course of her career, she's established herself as a counsellor, life coach and HR consultant. Having participated in the pageant, Marlene's association with the franchise continues and she's taken up the responsibilities of events director and contestant liaison. Today we're chatting with Marlene Nyker, who shows us that women really can have it all. She's a businesswoman, mom, wife, and recently pageant queen. I'm going to head behind the scenes while she gets ready for a red carpet event. Let's go. Hi Marlene. Hi Karusha. How are you? Hi, thanks and you Karusha. Oh, so good. Good to see you. I can see I'm catching you in the act, yes. behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, as you know, it takes a small army to get ready. What are you getting ready for? So with Mr. South Africa, there's always some glamorous event to attend and this evening is a red carpet, so I'm getting ready for that. I'm, yeah, I've got a few gowns in mind. I'm not quite sure what I want to wear this evening. It really depends on my mood, but maybe that's something you can help me with. I'd love that. Okay, so I've got my gowns over here. Oh wow, you can help me, these help are beautiful. Me choose. Yes, lucky to have um, quite a variety of gowns. This is stunning. I'm really not sure. Um, I really love red and gold and it's very difficult for me to decide. Maybe you can help me. Um, I'm really liking this. It's very, it's off the rack, but it's very clean and simple. And I think it's going to be quite comfortable for tonight. Oh yes, this is really lovely. What do you think? Tell me about that red one. I knew you were going to ask me about the red one. It just stands out, doesn't it? Um, this is made by a designer for me. Um, and yeah, it's very glamorous. I'm undecided. I think you're going to have to try them on for me. I'm happy to do that. Okay, so this is look number one. It's beautiful. It was a spin. Oh, that's gorgeous. Very comfortable. So I think it'll work well for a long evening. Now I want to see the red. Perfect. Okay, so here's look number two. Wow, that is sexy. Red just does something for a woman. I think so too. What are you planning to wear for the after party? Evening gowns are so restrictive, so I definitely want to get into something a little bit more comfortable. And because we're going into to spring, summer, I definitely want to be a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more relaxed. And I think this fabric is a little bit softer, the chiffon, and I think the print is beautiful for spring. So I think I'm going to get into this for the after party so I can have a good time. So Marlene, I'm so keen to chat to you more. Do you want to change into something more comfortable and I'll meet you in the lounge for a coffee? Sounds fabulous. While Marlene has an eye for style, she's also a people's person. In addition to being a motivational speaker and MC, she's active as a board member of the Babies Behind Bars NGO, as well as supporting the official Mrs. South Africa charity, Cancer. Oh, Marlene, what do you call that outfit? So this is working mom slash cricket mom <laughs> on the go. <laughs> Definitely a lot more comfortable and more my day-to-day -day look. I love it. So Marlene, tell us about your role as event director of Mrs. SA. It's an absolutely amazing role to be part of. Being part of Mrs. South Africa is a very glamorous job. So I always thought it was going to be very different coming from a corporate environment into a Mr. South Africa. But in terms of skills and what we do, it's very similar to my former HR roles. We're all about empowering women, helping them, coaching them and guiding them to find the very best versions of themselves. And it's amazing. I get to really manage the big projects during the year, which is grand finale, cancer gala dinner, which is for over 1,500 people, and also our lifestyle challenge down in Cape Town. Those are my babies that I really take care of. Obviously, the women entering this pageant are married. They would have had children already. Why do you think they are drawn to entering a pageant like this? Having gotten married younger and having my child a little bit younger, I often felt that I had lost a little bit of myself. And getting into my 30s, I started to realize that it was important that I understand who I am. And I think women that enter this are normally around that age, around 30 to about 33 or so, wanting to discover that side of themselves again, and not necessarily the glamorous side of themselves. The side of themselves where they realize 
what they want, what they like, what they don't like, what appeals to them, what do they want to do in their communities. And I think this really offers them the platform to then do that. How does it make you feel to be able to empower other women? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Psychology is my background, so I have a passion for coaching and counselling, and I do take care of the finalists on a day-to-day -day basis. So I love being able to sit down, work through an issue with a woman, and seeing her come out on the other side of it, changed and different and having overcome that challenge. Marlene, tell us how you juggle all of these hats that you wear. Businesswoman, wife, mom. I have to say I'm no superwoman. I'm an ordinary woman. I have my good days where I get to everything, and I have my bad days when I really don't. But I think, you know, part of my success is having a very good support structure. I think that's imperative, whether that's parents or grandparents or sisters or cousins, whoever can step in and help you, it's very important, so ask for help. And I think another secret to my success, which everybody will say, it's definitely my organization. If it's not in my diary, it's not happening. And that includes school pickups and groceries. <laughs> and speaking about school pickups, I think it's just about time to fetch him from school. Do you mind if I join you? Absolutely not, let's go. Let's go. Marlene's 11-year-old son, Ryan, was kidding out for his favorite part of the day. Hi, Ryan. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. You're an avid cricketer? Yes. <laughs> So I've spent the morning with your mom. Mm -hmm. And tell me what you think about having such a cool mom. Do you think she is cool? Yes. <laughs> is that a forced answer? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> grab your bat and let's go to the nets. Oh, he is so sweet, Marlene. I know, I just love watching him put his little helmet on. Oh. Yeah. Does it feel like he's grown so far? I don't know where the time has gone. He's almost as tall as I am, <laughs> which is scary. But yeah, I'd wish he'd just stay my baby forever. So Marlene, what are the joys for you of being a mom? To bring a baby into the world and to raise him and have a hand in his developing personality and his likes and his dislikes, which is so different to mine. It's probably the simplest and most profound joy of being a mom. And maybe a little bit selfishly as well, I get to relive my childhood through him. As you can see with the cricket, I always wanted to be a national sportswoman as well. So I get to experience that with him. Marlene, thank you so much for being with us today and for letting Mela into your life and catch a glimpse of what it's like. Oh, thank you, Karusha and Mela, for joining me today.